Scheduling meetings in Outlook 2007 is simpler than scheduling meetings manually, particularly when you need to coordinate the schedules of several people. In your Outlook 2007 calendar, you can select a time slot for the meeting and then create a meeting request. You can send a meeting request to any person who has an email account. You can also invite groups of people by using an email alias or a distribution list. In your meeting request, you can specify a subject to inform invitees about the purpose of the meeting. On the scheduling page of the meeting request, the All Attendees list displays the email addresses that you typed in the To box. If you have stored the contact information of the attendees in your address book, the list displays the names of the attendees instead. The list also displays your name. The black icon next to your name indicates that you organize the meeting. A red icon next to an attendee's name indicates that the person is required to attend the meeting. You can click the icon next to an attendee to either switch between required attendee and optional attendee status or to indicate a resource rather than a person. The scheduling page displays the calendar schedule for each invitee and uses a green line to denote the start time of the meeting. A red line denotes the end time of the meeting. These lines mark the time slot of the meeting in every invitee's schedule. The gray row at the top of the schedule indicates the collective schedule of all the invitees. If Outlook 2007 is able to retrieve the schedule information from the calendar of an invitee, the scheduling page indicates the invitee's status by using colors and shading. After you send a meeting request to your coworkers, the meeting appears in your calendar on the specified date and in the specified time slot.